Hey designers, this is Jessica and I'm super excited today to introduce you to my new pattern brush collections. This is something that I've been working months on and spending uncountable hours creating all of these color palettes, all of these brushes, making sure they just worked perfectly so that you can just pick them up and start painting. You don't have to learn anything. Um, not really any learning curve. You just load them up and start experimenting. So just in case you're not familiar with loading up brushes, patterns, and tools, um, I've got, whenever you open up your uh, collection, whichever collection you get, there's four of them, you'll see a, uh, um, a folder here with brushes, patterns, and tools. <clears throat> and to load them up, one way that you can load them up is just go here, go to your brushes, pick, you know, they'll just be one of them in there. Double click it and it loads it right into Photoshop. Same thing with the patterns. Double click it, loads it right into Photoshop. Tools, double click it, loads it into Photoshop. That's one way to load up the presets. Super easy. Also, um, if you're on a Mac, you can just select your preset and drag it over onto the Photoshop icon. It will load it up that way. Um, if you're on a PC, I have a Surface Pro. You can actually... Um, take it from the file browser and if you have like say the icon of the program on your desktop do the same kind of thing drag the ABR file or the TPL file onto that um, icon for your program and it will do that and then lastly but not least you can go old school to load them up and go to file and uh, or here edit presets preset manager and we'll just do it this way up here on your top left, you'll see which type you want to load. So I'll click on brushes, I'll click on load, and then I will just load up my impressionist brushes, click open. This um, process is exactly the same no matter which collection that you get. So you'll have some brushes, you'll have some tools. Let's load those up. I'm going to load up the impressionist tools, the main collection, and then you'll have some patterns. These are my pre-made color blends so that whenever you paint, all the colors that are going to be coming out are going to be the blends that I made. So let's load up the patterns. I'll get the Impressionist patterns open. Those are all loaded up and done. So everything's loaded. I'm ready to just start experimenting, start creating. So I'll just um, take a new layer here. And then if you don't already have your tools showing, go to Windows, Tool Presets, it'll pop that bad boy out. And then these are the brushes. And you just select one and, and start painting. So I'm going to select, let's see here, one of my favorite ones, Brush 36. And when you start painting like this, you'll see the colors are coming out. And it's all the blends that I've made here. So there's one. Um, I'll just show you maybe brush 37 here. Let's load up a different color so you can see it. And when you paint like this, the all the colors come out like that and you don't have to do anything so it's really cool um, it's just really amazing so I'll go more in depth in other um, tutorials and stuff and I'm gonna show you tips tricks um, all of my little secret techniques to get the most out of your brushes but it's really just that easy it's just picking up a brush pick your color blend and then start having some fun just um, paint with the brush here and you'll see how all the colors start coming out and you've got all different kinds of really cool brushes that can you can just do so many different things with them so that is just how to use your brushes and um, you see that I have I'm using directly the tool presets the patterns um, the color blends are up here in the patterns folder and if you don't see them like this click on this icon here. You can see them as a small thumbnail if you want. You can see them as a large thumbnail if you want and then or a small list or a large list. But I like them as a thumbnail because I can see the color really um, quickly straight off and I don't really need to know the names. 
And you might ask why I also gave you ABR brushes. Well, sometimes I'm using uh, my impressionist brushes or whatever, and I'm already here on this pattern brush stamp. But if I go over here to my regular brush presets, or you can go window um, brush presets, you can also, I like to view these as a stroke thumbnail here. So these are my brushes all loaded up, but I can see them as a stroke. So I can sometimes select them more easily um, this way and I can uh, just, you know, toggle between them and I've got this nice little stroke thumbnail. So I like that a lot. Um, so sometimes I do just do that. But they're saved all here as the tool presets and then of course you have the original brush. And these brushes, you can also use them just as a regular brush, but I had specially um, formulated every single one of these brushes to work really well with the pattern stamp brush because if you just take a regular brush and use it as a pattern stamp brush you're gonna get like a bunch of weird banding and it's not gonna look nice like my brushes are but on the plus side you can take my brushes and just use them in a single color here I'll put a color in so it's cool that way as well um, so you can do that but yeah, you can't just take any brush that you have in your arsenal and use it with a pattern stamp and it look nice. That's why these are so special because I took all the time so that the color is blending really beautifully. It looks nice um, and it looks just really cool um, and not like in bands or stripes. So these are very specially formulated brushes. And just one last thing, um, another thing that you should know is that all of the brushes can work with each other. So, you know, the main set is the Impressionist um, Pattern Brush Studio. That's like the big daddy of them all. But then I've got all these other cool add-on sets. But the the English Garden, the um, the Garden Party, the Masters. But the cool thing is, is you can use any of the brushes with any of the colors. So you can take these brushes and use the colors from the part you know garden party everything's totally interchangeable so it just is like this huge creative arsenal that you can have and you're going to be using this forever because um why would you just want to paint something like flat like this with one color when you can take the pattern stamp and have all this really cool um you know, subtle changes and stuff, and, and it just looks amazing. So this is something that you can use no matter what kind of design you do, illustration, hobbyists, there's um, tons of uses for this, and it's just really going to change the way that you paint in Photoshop. So hopefully enjoy this, um, just have fun, start creating, and please share, feel free to share on social media different things that you've made with these products. So um, hopefully you'll follow my channel and I'll have loads more tips, tricks, and all that kind of good stuff for working with a system.